Are you seriously? I'm just a defenseless moss chops. Are you serious right now? Oh god. What's going on guys? And welcome back to another episode of Arc Aberration Ascended. Last we left off, we tamed a couple more things. We tamed this dire bear here. Well, we claimed it as a baby. We didn't actually get an adult version. This is the baby. Here, have some meat, because you're a little bit on the hungry side. As well as a Megalosaurus, which has the saddle and everything. Looking cool and whatever. You're a cool looking Megalosaur. Gotta admit. Oh, the Ravager. Somebody uh, actually came up with a name for the Ravager. And I'm going to name it Rampage. I think it was Jonathan Brewer who named the, the creature. And I want to say thank you for that. Rampage the Ravager. Let's go. All right, what else do we get? I think we... Oh, we also got an Ankylo. Wherever the hell it is. I think it's in the back. Oh, mushrooms. Almost ran into them again. Yep, there you are. This is our metal gatherer. Our Ankylo. Looking cool as all hell. But in today's episode, we will be moving out. Moving to a new base location. But in order to do that, maybe we should get a Parasair first. Like, maybe so we can carry everything. You know, the Parasair. And then we could ride the Parasair. What does it take to have a regular saddle? Okay, actually, that's not too expensive. If we could grab a quick baby Parasair... Or we could tame one legit and get an adult. But if we find, like, a baby, it doesn't really... I mean, it kind of matters what level it is because we need it for weight. So, if we go out, find ourselves a Parasair, we should be good to go. And maybe we should get a female bulb dog as well. So then we could breed them up, get a couple of spare bulb dogs. So if this one dies... Speaking of which, you are very hungry. Hmm. Alright. Let me go get you some... Oh, I set it off, but I didn't go hallucinating. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Screw you, mushrooms. <laughs> ah. I'm getting better at this. All right, here, Pugsley. Have some food. All right, Spider, are you a male? You are a male. You know what? I like Cosmo. I'm going to keep you, Cosmo. There we go. You know what? Let's level you up in some more health. Yeah, we'll get you a girlfriend at some point, Pugsley. Let's, uh, let's take Cosmo out. I don't think you need a name. Cosmo kind of suits you. We'll take Cosmo out. And then we'll, what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll take, we'll take Rampage. And we'll go find a Parasair real quick. Maybe we'll find a baby or something. Something that's like a relatively high level. Luckily, Parasairs are everywhere. I mean, we could find a Diplo as well, but... I haven't seen any Diplos yet, so we'll just look for a Parasair. The saddle for the Parasair isn't too expensive anyway. So we'll go ahead and find it. Alright. Just so we can carry everything. I mean, a Stego might not be bad either. Might not be a bad shout. How much weight do you have? 530? Not enough. I think we do need a Parasair. So, we'll get the Parasair and we'll be good to go. Oh, we got a level, the level 60 Roll Rat still here. We got a Stego. If we could, like, take, like, a baby Parasair, then we could have it grow up and do whatever with it. Ooh, Gigantoraptor, what level are you? That's a 90. We could tame a Gigantoraptor at some point. I'm going to need Gilly Armor to tame that, but we'll be good to go. Alright. Well, that's a beautiful Roll Rat. Level 95? I might go after that. Wait, is that another way into the... Wait, I think I know where we are. Yeah, we were down there last time. Like, if we look down here... Trying to look for an Ankylo. There's a 50 Pyromane down there. I think that's the same Pyromane that, uh... There's an Ankylo down there. Where were you when I was trying to look for you? You're dead now. Well, you know what? It... It really doesn't matter. 
Let's just keep going. Search for a Parasair. And hopefully, we'll find one. If we can find one that's like 80 or higher, then that'd be golden. A max level would be awesome, but... We're not in a rush to tape. Hello, Parasaurs. A bunch of level 10 Parasaurs. There's a Parasair right there. Alright. If you could be a high level, that's good. If you could have a baby, that's even better. 75, do you have a baby? You do not have a baby. Hey, Carno. I was gonna say leave that Moss Chops alone, but it's dead. Whatever. Level you. 15. I mean, what we could do is just settle for this... That is a beautiful Parasair. You know what? We'll settle for the 75. How much weight do you have? A thousand carry weight? Alright. Um... I don't know if we should settle for the 75 or if we should get something a little bit better. You know, we'll keep looking. If we can find something better, we'll tame it. Luckily, Parasairs are everywhere on this map. There's a Parasair right there. There's a Gigantoraptor with the one... That's the 140 Basilisk. I cannot wait to get a Pyromane. That would make traveling so much easier. Levels of Spino. That's a 5... All these Spinos have been, like, level 5. It's crazy. Alright, I finally found a way up. Alright, there was, like, a pink Parasair. Where can I find it? Oh, there's a baby Parasair. Okay, what level are you got? 40? I feel like... I mean, you got a thousand weight. Should we go for the 75? I mean, that's a baby, though. I I feel like we can do better than that. That's the 130 Carcanos. I might keep that in mind for when we tame a Carcanos at some point. If we tame a Carcanos, that's an 80. There's a 95 Spino. What level are you? 90. I don't know, guys. I think we might settle for that 90, or sorry, 75. I mean, we could get that baby level 40, but I think we can do a little bit better than that. Hey, Parasair, what level are you? Okay, that's a 135. If you could have a baby, then that'd be golden. There's a 45 Juvenile Ravager. If you could have a baby, that'd be nice. You don't have a baby. But you know what? We have 59 arrows. Oh, Jesus. Sarko, get out of here. Only a level 5. Wait, is that a... Is that a baby Carcanos? I didn't know baby Carcanoses were a thing. Everyone, please get out of here so I can see what this baby Carcanos is all about. Hello, can I claim you? I sure can. We got a Carcanos. Albeit it's only a level 50, but... We got a Carcanos. I didn't know baby Carcanoses were a thing. Alright, I guess we're going after this 135 Parasair. You have 11,000 Torpor. Should we... Should we get a crossbow? You know what? I'll ping you. I'll ping you I'll, so I know where you are. Did it not... Oh, uh, the Parasair's being attacked by a crab. That's a 130 with a baby. Two babies. Actually, you know what? Spino! Get out of here, you. Alright. Let me grab these baby crabs real quick. Alright. We're just getting a bunch of crabs. I guess. Now, where's the other one? There you are. They were both 130. I, I couldn't resist. I just couldn't resist. Alright, we only have eight soul balls left. We have to keep that in mind. Alright, can I can I not ping the Parasair? Oh, that's the wrong button again. Waypoints. Oh, I had it disabled. That's why. There we go. Alright, so I remember where it is. 
Let me head back home, because I am making metal anyway, so we'll come back with a crossbow and possibly more arrows. And then we'll bring down that 135 Parasair, and then we can officially move out of base. Might even get a Karkonos. We'll level even. 15. Can't believe we got a couple of baby 130 Karkonoses. Two 130s and a 50. Alright. Well... We don't have to worry about taming a crab now. I can't believe we got a couple of baby crabs. I did not know that was a thing. They'll be all grown up by the time we get there, but they'll be good as defense. All right, home is just around the bend with some beautiful raptors here. That's a 50, and that's a 20. All right. Oh, there's a red raptor. Okay, that red raptor's a 145. I'd like to see if I can knock that one out. This makes up for the 145 that we... And down it goes. Awesome. Now I wish I didn't kill that prime. Okay, we got a Parasair right over here. A level 20. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna game the uh, prime from that Parasair. A uh, game? 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 Thank you. Alright, let's kill that guy right off the bat. Let's see if we can... Okay, Sarko, get out the way. Damn it, Sarko, you stole the meat that I was going to grab. But well, you know what? Whatever, I'll just take it from you. So we could tame this raptor. And then we need to drop some stuff off. Alright, this 145 raptor will definitely make up for the for the one that we lost. Okay, that's the 135. Alright, cool. Don't worry, we'll tame that 135. Oh! I almost let you go. What if you killed the... I'm putting you on passive for now. Alright, Prime. So the raptor shouldn't take too long. Alright, so this is the level 50. This was a female. You guys can just be base defense, I guess. We got three crabs that are base defense. And we got one of the 130 males. Let's see what stats you had, just out of curiosity. 21 into health, 29 into stamina, oxygen, food, no one cares. 14 into weight, and 21 into melee. Pretty terrible, but you know what? It's a, It was a baby, so... Alright, these guys can provide protection for us. I probably shouldn't have... Yeah, yeah, get the hallucination over with. Yeah, this is one of the reasons I'm getting out of here. I am so getting out of here after this. All right, can't believe we got three Karkonoses. I didn't know baby Karkonoses were a thing. <laughs> Don't. I am I keep almost running into that patch of mushrooms. Right, we should have more than 11 creatures by now. Yeah, we have 17. We're going to probably need to make more dino balls at some point. Luckily, we got some more crystals, so that shouldn't be a problem. 16, to be exact. All right. So the metal should be done by now. All right, we got 63 metal ingots. I'm pretty sure we need fiber for the Parasair saddle. Saddle, fiber should not be a problem. We've got, there's a wild Karkonos, level 125. Okay. Are you seriously? I'm just a defenseless moss chops. Are you serious right now? Oh god. Whistle. Thank you, Sarko. Oh god, okay. Thank you, Sarko, for your help. I, I appreciate it. Might as well add some more Karkonos to our arsenal. Hey, come back here. You. We're just taming loads of crabs. This could be great defense. Well, alright. We're too over encumbered to move, so you can follow home. Wow, he almost killed you. Let's get your health up. All the way. There we go. The raptors should be fine. Oh my god. That was... That was quite an experience. Alright, Mr. Raptor... Or, Moss Chops. You come with me. I mean... Good job we had a spare, but still. Alright, Fiber. Let's see. Parasair. Let's make the saddle. Actually, can we make a Carcano saddle while we're here? 
We need blue gems. How many blue gems do we have? I mean, if we have blue gems, we could take one of the 130s out for a spin. Great, my boots and my gloves broke. Wonderful. I mean, we got 18 in our inventory. Let's see how many blue gems. Oh, we got enough. We got enough. Let's see. Car can no saddle. JK, we need a bit of wood. All right. You know what? We got wood. All right, we got 25 soul balls now. All right. The Carcanosas can stay there. All right, we just need a bit more wood, and then we can make the saddle. Parasaur. Where are you, buddy? Deluxe. There you are. We just got five crabs. Albeit they're all babies, but they're crabs regardless. Well, okay, um... Yeah, I, I took advantage of that. I don't know if that was a bug and that's gonna be patched or not, but... You know what? I took advantage of it while it lasted. So it's not really cheating, I technically got them legit as, like, babies and whatever, but... You know, it's there. Alright, we could have lost one of the moss chops, but luckily, the, uh, the Sarko was there. So yeah, we're definitely moving out. I can't stand this place anymore. We can craft a Karkanos saddle right away. That's pretty awesome. Alright, let's get the saddle going. I'll take the Parasaur out. I'll take one out for a spin, like, later on. Almost walked into those damn mushrooms again. I like the 130s. Wait, can we breed you guys? That's a good question. Enable wandering or mating to mate. Enable mating, and you're the female, right? Behavior, enable mating. Oh! Oh, we can! Okay! You don't have to breed right now, but... Actually, you know what? You know, breed up. Breed up a little bit. I want to get, like, one egg going. I know you couldn't breed them in Evolved, but you can breed them in Ascended? That's... Okay, that's mind-blowing. Okay, the raptor has tamed up. So we're gonna go ahead and collect the raptor. That is actually a really cool concept. Alright, let's see what the stats of this raptor are. Let's see what we got. 40 points into health, not bad. 41 into stamina. Oxygen, food, no one cares. 35 into weight. 43 into melee. Okay, this is a really good raptor, actually. So the raptor, again, will just be base defense or whatever. Or it could be a backup ride. A backup tame for, like, if Rampage dies, this could be our backup. Really cool. Alright, um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. I kind of want to see what a Carcanos egg looks like. It's good to know that we can breed these guys. Alright, let me put the... All right, let me put the saddle onto you, the Carcanos saddle. There we go. So now we can ride you anytime we want. All right, we'll uh, test you out when we get back from taming the Parasair. I mean, if we run out of time, then I can always move out of base the next episode that we do. I want to see what a Carcanos egg looks like. Wait. Oh, you do gestation. Okay, even better actually. All right, let's go ahead and behavior, disable mating. That's way more convenient, actually. All right, we don't need all these crabs here. We'll just keep these three out. Maybe we could use, like, the 125s as, like, backups or whatever. All right, we'll keep them in my inventory for now because we don't have that storage thing. I'm running out of meat. We should probably get some more meat going. Some more food for ourselves. Oh, not again. I was just standing there. I didn't even run into them that time. The amount of times I ran into those mushrooms is crazy. Wait, we can jump now, can't we? Wait, can I shoot off the back of you? I can shoot off the back of a crab. Okay, we are so taking this to the blue biome. Almost ran into that again. Oh my god. Yeah, we're moving out. We're moving out. All right, we'll wait for the... We'll wait for these crabs to breed up, and then we'll go ahead and... We'll grab the Parasair, and then we'll officially move out. I know this is taking longer than expected, but... We need to get some stuff done. Actually, we're getting a lot of stuff done. We're actually doing really well, considering... You know, this is probably the hardest map to survive on. And I'll keep it in the, uh... 
the dino ball so it can imprint. We'll have an imprinted version and we'll see how good it is. Breeding a level 50 with a 130. There you go. You came out at a 115. Alright. I'm just picking up whatever I can find. All these gems. I did not mean to drop you, Cosmo. You know, you can stay on my shoulder for the time being. Alright, um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I'm um, putting some stuff away. Alright, we can make the crossbow. That's literally the main reason I wanted to do this. Uh, crossbow. Let's go. We got a crossbow. We got the saddle. We should be ready to go. We should keep this in our inventory and it will imprint. Hopefully. Cuddle. 17%. Alright. We'll keep you in the Pokeball so you imprint on your own. It's getting a little dark in here. Hmm. Alright. Let's uh, put the remaining crabs away. We've got ourselves a crossbow. We should be good to go. It's good that we can actually shoot off the back of a crab. But you know what? We'll use the Paris, the Rampage for this. We'll use Rampage. Alright, everyone stay there. I'll be right back. I've got me a Parasair to tame. Did, did it die? Because I'm not seeing it. I'm seeing baby sheep. I know I'm getting distracted, but... Uh, baby sheep. Could not resist. Three of them, too. I'm collecting those gems. I thought you didn't care for a second. No, you care. You care. Alright. Wait, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Alright. It's still here. Let's do this. With our new crossbow. It's got 11,000 torpor. And down he goes. Awesome. Let me go take out this crab real quick. Let me go take out this Sarko. And Scorpion, possibly. Take out this crab. And the Scorpion. Alright. Uh, we have a Parasair knocked out. Which is cool. Alright, so... Let me feed this Parasair, and then I'll let you guys know when this guy's fully tamed. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. And there we have it. Parasair has been tamed. Alright, let's head back home, whack a saddle onto it, and then we'll get ready to pack everything up. Alright, we don't need this ping anymore. We don't need this. Alright, let's get back home. As soon as these rocks get out of the way. We'll head back home, equip the saddle move out, and then maybe next episode I'll test out the crab, see how good it is. And I'll do some off-camera work, try to perfect the base wherever we end up moving to. What was this parasite? Level 5, of course. We can check your stats once we get home. And we're back at base for basically the last time before we move out. Let's see what kind of stats we have on you. 31 points into health, okay. 28 into stamina, oxygen, food, no one cares. 28 into weight, which is kind of terrible. And 38 into melee. It does have good melee, though. Right, we got the Parasair. We should be good to go. Let's start loading you up right away. With cargo and whatever. Alright, so we'll start loading this guy up. We need some fiber and some hide if we're going to repair our stuff. It's only cloth, but whatever. So we're finally moving out now. Officially moving out of base. Alright, we got a couple of Ulvis. We got a female and two males. So if we wanted to, we could breed them up, have like a sheep farm going. And we could get some... And we could get some, uh, some wool and some mutton from them. So we could tame creatures with mutton. Alright, let's start packing our stuff and getting out of here. First things first. Let's go ahead and take all these resources, at least as many of them as I can carry. All right, let's start loading up the Parasair. I will right, we'll leave the base part of it here. Let's go ahead and start picking up the furniture and whatever. 
We'll leave the base itself here as like a as like a nostalgia thing or whatever. So we could look back and be like, ah, this was our very first base. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's carry this stuff. Anything in here? A bunch of charcoal. All right, that's everything in here apart from the bold dog. Let's go ahead and clean everything up. We don't need all that meat. Just drop everything from the creature's inventory. Oh, hello. Level 90 otter. Oh, cool. Should I tame a quick otter? I mean, we've already tamed enough stuff today, I think. But it's right there. If we can lure a piranha into the river. Hey, piranha. I'm just a juicy human. You want to come swim over here? The one time I actually want piranhas to swim towards me, they don't. Alright, whatever. But the otter's right there, though. I kind of want it. I'll tell you what, there is a seal of camp here. Okay, stop pushing me back, Earthquake. Alright, this is where the piranhas show up. Yep, of course. Okay, ow! Earthquake! Oh, great. They stole my seal account. Great. Wonderful. No, no, I'm not I'm not done with you. You come back here. There we go. Um, excuse me, Mr. Otter. Would you be interested in a piranha? Uh Okay, stop moving. No, come back on land, please. Mr. Otter. I've got a delicious fish for you. 46%? Alright. Better than nothing. Alright, bring it on, piranhas. Bring it on. Ouch. Okay, piranha. Of course you show up just as I kill a coelacanth. It's always the way. What broke this time? My boots broke again? Damn it. <sighs> they need to stop breaking my stuff. Take my fish. No, stop dropping the fish! Alright, can I please drag it? Thank you. Uh, Otter, get here. Otter, get here. Oh, great, another piranha's after me. Piranhas, leave me alone. Hey, Otter, get back here. You're almost tamed, I want you. Better coelacanths than piranhas. Okay, how am I supposed to... Okay. Otter. Coelacanths, will you get out the way so I can tame this otter? Damn it. Uh, get out the way, fish! Great, I'm running out of oxygen. You're fine, human. You're fine. Piranhas! Piss off! Great. Alright then, anyone else? Alright, coelacanths. You need to get out the way so I can feed this piranha. I mean, not piranha. Otter! Oh my god, where do these piranhas keep coming from? Piss off! Oh my god. This could not be put in a worse place. Oh my god, another piranha! Oh wait, is the otter attacking me? Great, now I gotta start over. You know what, I'm just gonna kill this one. You know what, screw it. Alright, let's uh, move out for real. I thought I was gonna tame an otter, but I guess not. To be fair, that otter was in the worst place possible, surrounded by fish. When I was trying to kill the fish, I must have hit the otter by accident. That's probably why. Alright, and last but not least, this aberrant parasaur here. Alright, I think, I think we're ready to move out. Yep, goodbye old place. We take the campfire as well, and the cooked meat. Let's take the campfire. Alright, we should be good to go. Alright, everyone's in. Let's go. Let's officially move out. Level up and wait a little longer. Right, we obviously need to find a place that's close to water. And we need to basically... Yeah, like a place that's safe, a place that's beautiful and scenic. Scenic. 
And then once we move out off camera, I'll build the base, because base building will probably be super boring. So, yeah, off camera. Off camera, I'll do that. And we'll just, uh, go back. I was trampling on a bulldog. Alright, you know what? Right up by this cliff might be nice. Like, we're not too far from the water. We could probably make a balcony like we did last episode, or last series. Eh, this place could use a little bit of work, but you know what? You know what? I'm vibing with this. Could use a little bit of work, but you know what? Alright. I'm thinking about building here. This minus all this foliage and whatever. But yeah, with that... I'm going to build the base off camera, and with that, that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>